Hey guys, it's Linux Next here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing an updated guide for setting up XDefine on Linux. As uh, I've seen, uh, there's been a lot of progress that's been done on XDefine, and I decided to mark the original video guide of XDefine to outdated, so then I can make an updated guide on it, because, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, got removed when it came to, like, launch commands or environment variables that had to be used, and when it comes to, like, the runner that you have to use, that also... Uh, I said in the description that that needed to be changed to using Proton GE. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you just an updated guide of just how to set it up. And then I'll show you guys some gameplay of it working both on AMD and on NVIDIA. So in this guide, we are going to be using uh, bottles. It's my preferred method of a type of game uh, launcher or just like anything under Windows, like a Windows app or something you want to run. I think bottles is a great option for that. Plus playing games is a, a pretty awesome awesome to use for that and it's pretty easy to install apps after you create a bottle so uh, when you want to uh, install bottles you can just get it from your GUI store so we go to home here and we can just search for um, bottles and as you can see it's right here so we're going to use the flat pack version um, what I also would do is um, after you uh, grab bottles I would also grab flat seal because uh, this is a specific application that allows you to give permissions on certain flat pack applications so when you do launch it you can give a certain like application that is a flat pack certain permissions for things like if you want to give permission to I don't know OBS studio to see your extra drive which is what we're going to do with bottles so then you can install um, X to find on an extra drive like let's say for me would be on like slash games or slash extra games so you can do this system wide if you just go to all applications here we can just scroll down all the way down to file system and we can just go other files and then we can go slash games because that's where my uh, ssd is mounted or the other one would be slash extra games i see a lot of people uh, that mount drives in the slash mnt location uh, which is a temporary place for drives to be mounted and it's not really that great when it comes to certain applications seeing that drive uh, example steam has a lot of struggles when seeing those uh, mount drives mounted in slash mnt so i would mount your drive somewhere like where mine is mounted right now like slash games or slash extra games or like if you want to mount it in your, like your home folder i'm pretty sure you can do that also if you're like on an immutable distro that's where you would mount it so for bazit for example you would do like slash home and then slash dot var or, or like slash home slash games or whatever um, so for me i'm just adding these ones here but if you want to do it individually, which is what I would do just for like security purposes. So I'll just go to bottles. As you can see, we already have slash games added. So after that's added, we can now launch bottles. And mine's already launched. Uh, when you do launch uh, bottles, it's kind of come up with like a start thing. You just want to go through it and go through the steps. It's going to set everything up for you. And then after that is done, um, we can get into actually creating a bottle. Now, before creating the bottle, I would go to preferences and I would go to runners uh, and then go to Proton GE and grab the light latest version of Proton GE uh, because that is the runner that we are going to be using in this video. We can grab some of the other ones but they aren't uh, uh, aren't uh, up to date as much as it's like 8.7 uh, that's for League of Legends and the latest one for Lutris is 7.2 which is really old it means it's based on Wine 7 I'm pretty sure and that's a couple of years ago so I wouldn't recommend that and I wouldn't recommend Soda um, because uh, it's based on you know Proton I think Proton 9 uh, which came out a couple um, months ago and that's missing the patches that X Defiant requires so I would recommend that you use uh, Proton GE for this video and then well the next thing we want to do is create a bottle uh, so for me I can already see here I have the Ubisoft bottle a Blizzard bottle and then a Zenless Zone Zero bottle which I'm going to be doing a video about that uh, very soon of how to um, set that up and that's pretty easy to do it's basically if you if you just follow this guide it's basically the same procedure just missing like a couple maybe like environment environment variables that you don't need uh, but to create a bottle we just go to the plus thing here um, and then we can select the environment uh, which is going to be gaming for us I always do gaming no matter if it's just regular software or if it's um, a specific game launcher I want to play games on it doesn't really matter I'm always going to select the gaming environment because it includes more de dependencies uh, and then we want to name the bottle so uh, I like to name mine Ubisoft uh, and it's already created so after it's done creating this may take a while if it's your first attempt of creating a bottle 
bottle may take like, you know, uh, maybe up to five minutes to grab everything because it has to download a lot of things, a lot of Windows dependencies, and then um, plus like other things that improve just like your gaming experience. Uh, and then after it's created, we can go to our settings here and we go to the runner and we can select Proton G, the latest one, which for me, I have the 9-9, which I you know, like injected into bottles, uh, it, bottles uh, flat pack folder from an app called uh, Proton Plus. Uh, which you can grab from your um, GUI store and then you can just go to bottles and click Proton GE and then grab the latest one which is 9-10 uh, is the latest one uh, but that's not available in bottles and it doesn't really matter necessarily because we are playing um, X Defiant here uh, so does, that doesn't really matter that much but you just want to select the runner. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the DX2K or VKD3D because these uh, get updated pretty quickly and you can just select like a newer one if, if one is available for you. And then after we've uh, done looking through here, we can uh, look through the display settings. Uh, we want to keep the discrete graphics tick, which means uh, use the discrete graphics card to increase performance at the expense of power consumption. So it's going to try and use your main GPU that you have, either it be an iGPU or a like slash integrated GPU or a desktop uh, GPU. So I would just leave this on F-Sync for synchronization. And then there's the mono monitor performance, which is uh, Mango HUD. So you want to check your um, GUI store here, like for Discover and just search up Mango HUD. You should have Mango HUD available here. Uh, I know this is the wrong version that is being shown here, I'm pretty sure, um, because I have it available here, because the one that I use, which you have to open it in your terminal, uh, if you want to grab this, which I know is scary, but it's okay. You just want to, Flatpak, um, install, Mango HUD, and then it'll show a list. You want to select your um, FlatHub system, or uh, if you don't have system, you have user, that also works. You can do FlatHub users, like that one. Uh, and then you want to grab the latest uh, runtime version of the free desktop platform Vulkan Layer Mango HUD. So the latest one is 23.08, which I'm one, the one that's being shown, I'm pretty sure is either the Steam, Steam one that's being shown on the store right now. Uh, so that's why um, it's showing that. Uh, but you want to select the latest version of the free desktop which is 23.08 right now and after that is done installing you just relaunch bottles and then that option should appear for you now you can enable a uh, feral game mode if you want to which kind of like enhances the game's process so that it runs maybe a bit better when it comes to like priority of the game uh, but it doesn't really solve that many issues anymore because linux is improving when it comes to like you know process prioritizing and all that stuff so you don't really need it enabled i haven't used uh, um, game mode in a long time because uh, well, with my kernel I have the bore scheduler so it's like I don't need a game mode to be running anymore on a game uh, but after that is done the, ne the next part is installing the program so we're going to install the Ubisoft uh, launcher and to install the Ubisoft launcher we just want to go to install programs which shows a list of programs that bottle supports and I wouldn't really look at the the um, ratings that these programs give because some of them kind of don't make sense like I guess Steam would make sense because you're running Steam through Wine slash Proton, which uh, is not the recommended way to do at all. Uh, you want to use the native version of Steam, uh, but for the sample, like Ubisoft Connect, like runs Gold, um, which doesn't make sense because Ubisoft Connect runs really well and it doesn't have any minor glitches anymore. Like uh, I guess if we think about the older version of Ubisoft Connect, it used to have some problems under Wine, uh, but with Ubisoft's recent like redesign that they did, uh, and it runs through like Vulkan now on Linux, uh, it runs really well and it runs as intended as it should under Proton GE. Um, but if we click this little button here, which is the install button, it's going to launch a uh, separate window for you to start the installation of Ubisoft Connect. And so for me, it completes it super quickly because it's already installed. Uh, but for you, it may take a couple minutes depending on your internet connection, how fast your computer is. And after it's done, it will show up in the programs list. It may even launch where you can start logging into it. Uh, but for me, uh, we just want to click play. Uh, and if you want to add this as like a, sh like a shortcut, the first one we can do is add to library. So if you do this, add to library library and then we go to our library you can see that Ubisoft Connect is there now when it comes to creating a shortcut you're going to have to look at the bottles documentation you're going to have to allow bottles to create a desktop because it's a flat pack application uh, so I'll leave that link down below it's pretty easy you just copy and paste some commands um, to allow bottles to see uh, your desktop shortcuts basically so then it can create it for you so then you can like you know favorite or whatever uh, the Ubisoft Connect app or whatever for you but as you can see here the Ubisoft Connect app is uh, 
available. And uh, for installing XDefy, it's the same way you would do it on, you know, um, Windows, basically. You just find it, you click install, and it's going to bring up, you know, like the Wine Explorer for um, picking your location of the game. And as I said before, when we added the, the drive that you wanted to install XDefy on, uh, you would want to go to like the bottom of here and go manage drives. Now you should already be able to access that drive in the Wine Explorer, but if you can't, you want to add a new letter and then uh, do this and it'll select a path and you want to select the, uh, you know, your drive you want to install XDefy on. So for me, it would be like games, for example. So I'm going to click OK. And then the games path is there as an extra drive. So when we go to install a Ubisoft game, uh, we can actually install it on that drive and wine or on bottles will have uh, the permissions to actually read and write the game to that drive for you. And then after that is done, you can basically click play. There isn't anything else you have to do. Like I tested this on NVIDIA. I'll show up gameplay right now of me playing X Defiant on bottles um, on the NVIDIA. Video RTX 2060 on the latest drivers on KD Plasma um, with uh, Arch Linux basically or Garuda and it ran uh, perfectly fine. I got all, all right FPS. Uh, there was no environment variables I had to use anymore uh, or I had, didn't have to fake my NVIDIA card to be an AMD card. But as you can see here, the game is working. Uh, it's now season one of X Defiant, which I haven't played yet, so I need to start playing some of it and see how it is and uh, you know, see how decent the battle passes I guess even though I don't really care much about that uh, but you, yeah as you can see it is working on my AMD card and it did work on my Nvidia card uh, there was no issues uh, and we can just you know start playing the game or go into a practice range also uh, and the performance is uh, really good I would say on my AMD card and it was really good on my RTX 2060 I think I got like I don't know like 140 130 FPS on my RTX 2060 on here I get like uh, let's see I think like 200 maybe maybe 180 something like that yeah around around 280 260 240 260 um yeah so it runs really freaking good so uh without further ado that is the updated guide of running x defiant on linux it's uh, pretty easy to do uh once you learn how to use bottles i've done tons of bottles guides in the past and if anyone is a, a viewer of mine who's watched my channel for a while i think you would know how to use bottles by now because i've done so many different tutorials about it uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video you definitely can give it a like uh we did hit 5,000 subscribers uh yesterday i think it was so uh thank you i already did a community post uh, saying like thank you to everyone I, I really do appreciate uh, 5,000 subscribers it's really um, cool to hit like a milestone on, on this channel I never expected to grow a channel that fast um, in under like a year and a half roughly so again thank you and I uh, thank you to my supporters uh, slash members I'll show a screenshot of them now I appreciate you guys uh, giving me money every month uh, I, really, I really do appreciate that and I uh, will see you guys in the next video peace